Dear viewers, welcome to Arif's Education TV. My name is Arif. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you two different ways of creating and editing a table. We are now on the home page of Microsoft Word. Before we start creating a table, I must tell you that creating a table actually means inserting uh, rows and columns. That means the combination of rows and columns will make you a table. As I just said, that insert. So we actually find out from the menu command where insert is. So we can see insert here, which is next to home. So we click insert and we see table, uh, you know, located, you know, under this, which is the fourth option from the left. So we left click on the mouse on table and we see uh, little cells here. And as soon as you put your cursor on the first one, you can see on the screen that there is a row created. We can also call it a column. And you can see here where it says insert table. It changes as, as you put your cursor on one of the cells here. So it says one by one that means you know one column and one row if i move my cursor across let's say on the right then you can see it's it shows there two by one that means two columns and one row which we can see also on the screen as we further move we can see you know three columns being created then we actually drop the cursor down and the more you go down the more rows are uh, actually uh, being created there so let's say we need to actually uh, obviously i must tell you that before you actually do this you should know in your mind how many columns and how many rows you need for your report so let's say uh, you know uh, we are happy with the number of rows and columns so we just left click on mouse there so our uh, table is created now you can uh, put the headings there like uh, first name, probably surname, phone numbers, just an example. So I can put probably like Arif, Kadem. Let's say likewise you fill um, you know all the rows and columns, then you come up with the last one where you probably put, for example, uh, Adian. Now, once you have filled, you know, all these rows with information, you may be required to actually, you know, insert more information, like more names and phone numbers. So how you can do it? So we can actually uh, insert more uh, uh, rows under RDN here. This is the, you know, uh, last uh, row. So what we can do, we can just put the cursor next to uh, the last uh, row, and we actually right click on mouse. Okay, as, as you right click the last row, um, uh, be selected and uh, it pops up with, you know, um, the menu option here. So we choose whatever we like. So depending on what we need, we, we may uh, want to cut, copy or insert, delete. We can do different things. So uh, uh, we can actually uh, choose here, insert rows below. So we click here below so that we got new row here okay so this time we may need to put one column above Linda I must tell you that from my teaching experience I often see that many students actually struggle to insert rows insert columns delete rows and all these things we this time uh, you know uh, insert a new row above Linda and under at the end so if we highlight let's say Linda and choose insert rows above so it will give you a new row above Linda so we got it but under RDN now this is the first option how you create table now as I promised you that I'm going to show you uh, two different techniques so the second option is so let's create um, you know another page first and now you might have a question in your mind that how I got this new page so what I did actually I just um, uh, press Control 
and N on the keyboard. So basically, um, CTRL plus N, you know, on, on the keyboard, then it will give you a new sheet. Now, the second um, option to uh, insert a table, you know, using columns and rows, uh, the same way that we go to insert, then table. This time, we are not going to actually choose the cells. We come straight under all these cells where it says insert table. So we actually left click on the mouse to select. As soon as you do it, it will give you um, a little box with a number of options where it says number of columns, number of rows. Let's say we again want to get um, three columns. So we actually choose with this drop down thing or we can actually type. Let's say number of rows, we want eight. So we can just type here also. So there are different options here. After that, you just hit enter or click OK on your mouse and you get this. So now I would like to show you how to delete a row. So what you should do, the way you actually uh, inserted the new row, the same manner you actually you know, select uh, the row. And let's say we don't want the last row. So what we would do, we would just delete it. Just delete. Choose the option to delete rows. So Linda will be deleted. If you want to delete multiple rows, you can actually, um, you know, select, a cup, you know, multiple rows together and just click delete rows. I just want to undo once and want to show you that you can actually insert as many rows as you want, you know, at the same time. So just highlight, let's say, three rows here and then right click, insert insert rows below so we are going to get another three rows so that finally i would like to show you how to uh, insert and delete a column let's say we put the cursor in phone number column and we want to have a new column uh, either on the left hand side or the right hand side so let's uh, right click on the mouse and choose the option and we may want to get a column um, you know uh, to the right Okay, so click and we get the brand new column. Now, we do, if we do the same process, we can actually get um, a brand new column to the left as well. So that's how we get the new column. So uh, you can get as many columns as you like. If you need to delete any column, what you have to do, you just have to highlight the whole column and uh, put the cursor within the selected area of the column and right click and simply delete columns so this will delete the entire column dear viewers i hope uh, you have learned how to create a table uh, please do some practice on your pc so um, you know you can apply uh, this knowledge to practice thank you very much for watching if you like this video clip please do not forget to put your thumbs up comment share and subscribe to this channel Thank you very much. You know she's never gone.